After mentoring and coaching thousands of credit heroes, the one question I'm always asked is, what letter do I use? So in this episode, I'm going to go through the dispute letters that every credit repair business owner needs to get proven results for their clients. So stick around. My name is Daniel Rosen, and welcome to Credit Repair Business Secrets. Okay, before I dive in, if you want these five proven letter templates for free, just click the link below this video, and I'm going to send them right to your email. Now, let's get into this. Okay, most credit repair companies only use a handful of letters for about 95% of their clients. So those are the letters that I am going to focus on today. However, if you are in a situation where you need more advanced letters, just log into your Credit Repair Cloud account and use the Letter Finder feature to access over a 100 different letters that cover just about every possible scenario. All you have to do is answer a couple simple questions, and then the letter finder, it guides you directly to the perfect letter that you need. So if you haven't tried it out yet, check it out right after this podcast. And if you don't have an account, just go to creditrepaircloud.com for a free 30-day trial. Okay, now, when you work to repair credit, it all boils down to legally harnessing the power of the Fair Credit Reporting Act and not taking no for an answer. And the best way to fight the credit bureaus and win is with these five proven letters. Okay, so the first letter is the round one letter. This letter has been used thousands of times and for a good reason, because it works. Okay, it's a very simple letter that lets you list a bunch of items along with the reasons for removal as well as the instructions for the credit bureau. Now, the round one letter, it should always be the first letter that you send, okay? And it's always sent to the credit bureaus. Why? Well, because you can dispute as many items as you like and the credit bureaus must contact each furnisher for you and if they don't respond within 30 days, you get an automatic deletion. This is by far the most widely used and most effective letter to use to go after the low-hanging fruit. And again, it should always be your very first move when going after items on a credit report. Now, the next dispute letter that every credit repair business owner needs is the reinvestigation letter. Okay, so here's the scenario. You've already disputed items with a credit bureau at least once or twice, and you didn't get the response you wanted. The reinvestigation letter, it's a great way to let the credit bureau know that you are not giving up. It's, it's amazing to me how much a little bit of patience and persistence can really get you results. And this letter is exactly that. It's persistent. So when they say no, what do you do? You ask again and again and again. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Now the next and very effective letter that you need to have, it's called the method of verification letter. This is usually called the MOV letter for short. This letter is generally used when an item you know to be inaccurate comes back as verified. And so here's how this works. The credit bureaus, when you send in your dispute, the credit bureaus conduct very basic investigations and they're all electronic. They contact the furnisher and then they wait for an electronic response to verify that the item is or is not verifiable. So when you get a response saying the item was verified, but it has no evidence you can always ask how they went about verifying the item, and sometimes that leads to a deletion. Now, the bureaus, they are not required to provide proof, which would be signatures, documents, evidence, etc. They're not required to provide that. But 
they are required to provide their method of verification, meaning who they contacted, what information was transmitted, etc. So sending an MOV letter is a great way to put pressure on them and push for a deletion. Next on our list is the warning letter. How many times have you received an inappropriate response from a bureau or no response at all? Probably way too many times, right? Now, when this happens, you must remain persistent and never take it personally. However, you should absolutely fight back. And one of the best ways to do this is with a well-crafted warning letter. Now, in this letter, you remind the credit bureau of your rights as a consumer, you state the facts, and you include previous correspondence and any proof you may have. And most importantly, you make it crystal clear that you mean business. You can even step up your game and push even harder by filing a complaint with the CFPB. And, and when you do that, be sure to include a screenshot of the complaint in your warning letter. Either way, it's one of the most dominant and important letters in your arsenal. Now, the fifth and final dispute letter that every credit repair business owner should have and should use is the validation demand letter. Now, this is not a credit repair letter per se, but it can be very helpful when you have a client who is facing aggressive debt collectors, facing harassment, or even if they're attempting to collect an invalid or an expired debt. Validation it harnesses the power of the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, and it can be very powerful, and it can pause collection efforts, it can stop harassment, and it can deter debt collectors who simply aren't playing by the rules. And that happens often. Also, if your client intends on paying the debt by demanding validation, this letter can help verify that they're paying the right collector for the right debt. Now, remember, when you use these templates, they are not set in stone, okay? Think of them as a base for whatever point you're trying to get across. You can easily make some slight changes to the content of the letters based on your client's individual situation. For example, when using round one, if you want to dispute with a creditor, Instead of a bureau, you just edit the recipient name and address. Or if you're sending out a warning letter, instead of just using the template as it's written, take a minute to explain how frustrated you are and really show how this error is impacting your client. Let them know if you plan on filing additional complaints, like with the FTC or the state attorney general, or if you plan on filing a lawsuit, this is your chance to vent and make your intentions clear. And in the end, to have success, just model what works. And these letters, they're proven to work. So download your free templates today. Click the link below this video. And if you want to use our proven and effective methods that we teach in our basic disputing course for verification, disputing accounts, sending warnings, being persistent with reinvestigations, doing interventions, filing complaints, demanding validation, and a ton of other real strategies that actually get you results, I'm offering that certification course for free inside our 14-day Credit Hero Challenge where we walk you by the hand as you launch your very own credit repair business in just a couple weeks and for less than it costs to take your family to McDonald's for dinner. So to join the challenge and get the basic disputing certification course for free, go to credithero-challenge.com. And if you're finding value in this podcast, click below to subscribe. And if you're feeling kind, rate me or give me a review because this is a new podcast and I can use all the help I can get. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode. So until then, be a credit hero and keep changing lives. 
Hey everybody, it's Daniel again, and really quick, I'd like to invite you to join what I believe is the best thing we have ever created inside the Credit Repair Cloud community. And it is a challenge that we call the Credit Hero Challenge. If you're just planning out your business or you're just getting it started and you dream of having a successful business of your own so you can quit your nine to five and fire your boss and have financial freedom or so you can add another revenue stream to your existing business, if that's your dream, you need to get into this challenge. We created this challenge to help you to create and launch your very own credit repair business, to build a proper foundation for a really successful business. This challenge is going to help you to understand the strategy, the tactics, and all the things you need to be successful at credit repair. It really is the greatest thing we have ever built, and it will change your life. So I recommend you do it right now. Stop everything, pause this audio, go online, and go to CreditHeroChallenge.com. That's CreditHeroChallenge.com. And join the next challenge. And there's a challenge that's starting in just a few days. So go get started right now at CreditHeroChallenge.com.